Okay, I'm going to get straight to the point here. My little video is about removing a square taper crank with a Dremel tool. I looked on YouTube and I couldn't find this kind of video, so I'm going to share my short little experience and how I did it um, as quick as I can. I'm going to do voiceover and I have pictures. So first of all, the bike is a R300. It's an old Cannondale from the 90s. It's actually still a good bike, but the non-drive side crank the threads are stripped and I cannot use the normal tool to pull it off I, I knew this when I was I bought a new crank so I thought okay this summer I'll deal with it so here's what I did first of all I thought we'll try a three arm gear puller so the problem with that one is it's not easy to get the uh, hooks or the the it's not easy to get it to grab on to the non-drive side the drive side actually is not so bad because you can hook it into a handful of places and it's not that difficult to do if you need to use a, a gear puller to pull it off. So I bought a two prong gear puller thinking that that might actually be a better grip and hold on and just pull it out that way but you can see the tool here in the picture it didn't work. Um, it wasn't strong enough or we lined it up with a bolt and you needed to put a little bolt inside because the the big screw on the gear puller just didn't fit into the the right position so that didn't work out so I'm like all right next how what's up what would do what do we do next so I went to the automotive place and said do you guys have a pickle f a pickle fork a big tuning fork you know it's a huge it's actually a really nice kind of tool to hold in your hand and they had one you could rent it <laughs> you don't really rent it you just give the guy 50 bucks and you can take it home and if you don't bring it back you lose your 50 bucks but you buy the tool so he's like, yeah, you got 45 days to use it, and um, please bring it back with a receipt. No big deal. And this tool actually is pretty cool. I like it. It's um, it's heavy, and it feels good to hold. It's a really interesting tool. This one came with three of the, the forks. And this is actually a tool to use to uh, something with a ball joint in a car to remove that. But it works on the bike, too, but this one has its pros and cons. It can um, scratch the frame if you're not careful, and um, it... You really got to bang on it. You really got to use a hammer on it. Okay, so just using this and maybe even some videos say heat up the crank. I didn't heat it up, but um, what I did was I did end up using this tool, and I'm glad I got it. So I didn't only use this tool because I knocked on it for like five or six, ten minutes, and it just wouldn't budge. Now, my situation, this bike is like from the 90s, some like 25-year-old crank, and I think it's always been on the bike, and it must have really been tightened on. I've ridden it. Uh, like a thousand kilometers last summer and I'm just visiting my folks here in Florida and my uh, this is the bike I ride so I thought okay I, I, I want to get this thing off because it's got a 46 36 and 24 triple on the drive side and that's just not cutting it to roll here on flat Florida I wanted at least a 50 tooth ring so I said, let's just take out the Dremel. I, I don't have a grinder, and I didn't want to go back and rent one. So I said, let's just see what happens if we use the Dremel tool with the proper metal cutting disc. And that is actually, um, it works. And it's not a painstaking, long, patient process. It Granted, it did take about 15 minutes of sitting there just going at it, maybe 20. But you make progress not not it doesn't go through it like butter but um it made some progress and it's easy to see that you're going through and use a chisel i got a chisel knocked it a bit bent it back and forth and um this way you can save the bottom bracket and, and granted this is old square taper bottom bracket uh the spindle on there is this massive heavy thing but it's still good and these things they actually the bearings last quite a while in that setup so i have bought a new one but <laughs> another problem i couldn't get the non-drop side bottom bracket uh the the ring off so i just used the old one anyhow as you can see it came off and it was not a all trying everything you know the gear puller knocking it out banging on it with a hammer all of these different things um, I had no use for that old crank, so I didn't mind cutting it off. Uh, if you had a grinder, I think that would actually go quicker. Um, but you got to be careful. As soon as you get close to the 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 square 
the spindle there, you don't want to cut that because if you if you if you knock that a little bit, if you t you know with a grinder, if you tapped it a little bit and you you deform the shape, then it's not going to hold the the crank arm on properly in the future if you want to use it again. So we didn't actually cut all the way through. We didn't have to cut all the way through the entire crank arm but enough to like release the pressure and then it it did fall off and I'll tell you I used the the pickle fork to bang on it and that's when it fell off so overall how long did it take like quite a while because I looked at it I knew it was broken and I rode it and I just this this whole week I've been riding it and then last night I, th I thought okay now it's time I took off the pedals and I got to work and the actual sitting there and grinding it with the 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 Dremel tool was probably the hardest work and I um I think it, it's just a matter of making sure your tools are good and you the, it, I used a new a new Dremel um metal cutting pad and got that all tight and everything if you're not careful it will bind that metal grinding disc and the tool will fly out from you know it'll if you haven't used a Dremel before it'll fly out or it can actually break the the screw there that holds on you can just it gets hot too okay so man six minutes there you go uh if, the, if you're dealing with this problem i hope this helps you out cheers